at Orr, again the studios of WNYC in New York. This is Soundcheck, our series of live performances and interviews. I'm John Schaefer. Today, we're coming to you from WNYC's ground floor multimedia performance venue, The Green Space. And we are here with the Welsh singer and songwriter, Kate LeBon. She's just put out her new record, her sixth. It's called Pompeii, and she and her band are here to play some tracks from it for us today, beginning with this one called Moderation. I get by one eye in the sky, but I can't put my finger on it. I want to cry out loud in my mind, trying to figure it out. Moderation. Kate LeBon and the band with a song called Moderation from the new album Pompeii. Kate, it's great to have you uh, back with us. Yeah, thank you for having us. 
Last time was about 10 years ago. It was your first American tour. Yeah. This must feel almost like a first time touring yeah, again. it's lovely, actually. You know, the things that you maybe accidentally took for granted before everything shut down. It's uh, Before yeah. the world changed. Yeah. yeah, so we're all very excited. Yeah. You know... Um, the album, the album title, Pompeii, mm -hmm. seems like a, an obvious thing to ask about because many of the songs on this record, even if they're not dealing directly with crisis and catastrophe, there's that sense of something looming in the background. And I get the sense that you're not referring to a 2,000-year-old volcanic explosion. Uh, no, I think it's more metaphorical, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about you know, where you were, I mean, I guess I guess I mean that physically as mm -hmm. well as metaphorically, mm -hmm. in the making of this record. Um, I was in Cardiff in Wales, so, you know, a very familiar place to me, but I planned to maybe make the record somewhere else and um, realised, I think, like lots of us did during the lockdown, that my plans were totally incompatible with reality, so I um, ended up flying Samar over from L.A. to terrace house in Cardiff which um, yeah we, we made it work it was you know really special yeah mm -hmm. now I you've sung you've recorded songs in Welsh before you're making this record in Wales mm -hmm. in this little Welsh cocoon and yet these songs are all in English was it just like this is a global kind of thing that we're all going um, through yeah I mean I you know it, it was strange because you know I'm in this city where I grew up in my 20s and living in a house I used to live in then and surrounded in theory by all my friends but you obviously don't have access to them because we were under you know a quite a strict lockdown so it like f felt like a strange um, connection with you know the geography of the location everything seemed somewhat removed you know yeah did it affect the songwriting process at all? I'm, I'm sure, you know, it's, um, I think any conditions that you make a record under, it's going to seep in, you know. And I think Samra and I, you know, we lent into the chaos and that makes you a little bit more porous to what's going on. I mean, a lot of the, the lyrics, a lot of the songs, not that this is new for you, they're elliptical and uh, or elliptic and mm -hmm. elusive. You know, there's rare moments of, actual narration this mm -hmm. is what happened or what I'm thinking um, and yet uh, I, I sense what they're saying to, to mm -hmm. quote w yeah. one of the lyrics so that's that's a neat trick oh, thank you uh, yeah don't so ask me to expose my mechanisms <laughs> <laughs> well it almost seems like you know rather than building a song up that these songs are maybe the result of pairing something down that's that's how yeah. they feel to yeah, me yeah i think that's that's a good observation i am um, i don't know it's like i don't really have a a repeatable process and i just know what conditions i work best under so i, I suppose just kind of surrendering to the chaos of what was going on and you know just yeah well now th there are you know the world's on fire uh we have a pandemic but the pandemic will eventually, we assume, recede, and we'll be left with another longer-lasting crisis, an ecological, environmental one. And, you know, th it, it, it feels like maybe that's more what's looming in the background of this album. Yeah, I think it's, um, you know, uh, we all had a lot of time to balance the books, I suppose, and, um, yeah, something's looming, huh? Yeah. <laughs> So um, the, the line I just quoted is from the song you're going to do next for us called yep. French Boys. French Boys. Um, and, and as with many of, of the songs on your, your albums over the years, you know, a lot of these present as kind of standard song form. Mm -hmm. There's always a little twist. Mm -hmm. There's a, you know, a, a meandering melody or a chord progression that doesn't go the way you expect it to. And I, I'm just wondering... You know, it, how much of that is intent and how much of that is just a natural outgrowth of the way you work? Uh, I think it's just the way I write. And unfortunately for Dylan, I seem to count in <laughs> sevens or something. <laughs> <So> <laughs> everything happens on the two or the three or something for Dylan. But um, yeah, I, uh, yeah. So that's Dylan Hadley behind yeah. the drums and yeah. we should probably... Uh, this is you and Hinshelwood. 
on uh, sax and keyboard. Toka Yasuda on the bass, mm -hmm. and Alex Morrison over here on keyboards and guitar. And Thanks. Kate Laban also playing guitar mm -hmm. and singing. Shall we hear French yeah. Boys? Yeah, thank you. Once again, Kate Laban.
Once again, Kate LeBon and the band live from the green space with a song called French Boys, which you'll find on her latest album called Pompeii. First record since Reward in 2019, which got a Mercury Prize nomination. Um, with this album, I, I mean, you, you talked about how you were sort of, you had to be in one place sort of cloistered while making it. Um, you had Stella Mosgawa yep. playing drums mm -hmm. from the Australian band Warpaint. How did that happen? Uh, she was in Sydney and I was in Cardiff and it was uh, some kind of um, things called audio movers and you can link up sessions. Um, so I'd started doing uh, some kind of rough demoing with her in the uh, in Joshua Tree before I then went to Iceland to work and she came out to Iceland to do the session with me and then she flew back to Australia and I went to Wales you know everything shut down so we um, yeah we did the the session remotely there was no way around it really yeah yeah um, so you're touring with a band, but in those actual sessions, you mm -hmm. played most of the instruments yourself, except for the drums yep. and, I guess, the saxophones. Mm -hmm. I have trumpet lips, so I can't play the saxophone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what does that mean, a trumpet? I Are don't know. A friend told me that my saxophone dream was over, that I had trumpet <laughs> lips. So, And Ewan is supposed to teach me saxophone, but so far, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so um, did you write these songs on the guitar? Uh, mostly on the bass, actually, yeah. Um, well, now that's interesting because mm. um, I, I wanted to ask you if you felt like these songs were sort of interconnected somehow because uh, while I don't hear like actual material recurring, mm -hmm. there are sort of gestures, yeah. shapes of melodies, especially in the bass line, mm -hmm. that seem to recur throughout this record. Yeah, I mean, I think it was, um, you know, it did decision that I made subconsciously to um, there's a propulsion to the bass and like a it's forward motion there's a groove to it so there was it was as if I was trying to stop any kind of dwelling or modeling you know you keep keep going you know um, right yeah and then it became the I guess the backbone for the record that everything then was uh, worked around so not a concept album, but a series of related songs somehow. Yeah, I mean, I wanted it to sound, you know, like it had all been dreamed in one night, I suppose. You know, it, the, there's a lot of um, times of quite a big theme that keeps popping up, and I wanted it to feel like this um, moment that had been stretched out, you know. So. Yeah, which is interesting because... You know, you feel like you're in a moment, and yet you can't tell quite when in time that moment is. Mm -hmm. There's a sense of kind of floating in a time bubble, so to yeah. speak. Yeah. So the title track, Pompeii, where mm -hmm. did this, you know, how did that become the title of the record? Did the song just speak to you and say, this this got to be the title? Or um, I guess I kind of Pompeii seemed to be the perfect setting for all the kind of complicated uh, feelings that were ruminating, you know, whilst everything was shutting down and there's this huge global crisis, you know, thinking about the permanence of, you know, a final gesture and, um, you know, how it plays with your perspective of time and, um, and you know, that sense of a, a looming disaster, but you still go about your business, you know. And right. Yeah. So right. So the line, uh, the, the ugly wait for the morning papers... Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. that's clearly not a reference to Vesuvius and Pompeii, but... No. Uh, but it's all in there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so we're just kind of like going about our business mm. and things fall apart. <laughs> Are you, having said that, I don't want to put, you know, optimism or pessimism in, in your songs mm. if you haven't put them there yourself. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about all of this? Is this uh, an optimistic record, a pessimist? I I think it's optimistic, you know, I think there's a lot of hope and curiosity in it, um, which I think is different to optimism, you know, but um, yeah, I, yeah, I hope there's... Yeah, well, it's hard to be hopeful without having some kind of cause for optimism, yeah. mm -hmm. so... 
All right. That's my philosophical musing for the <laughs> afternoon. Uh, shall we hear the title track? Yeah. Thank Kate you. LeBon and the band live from the green space with Pompeii. Let's 
That is the title track from Pompeii, latest album by my guest, the Welsh singer and songwriter Kate LeBon. And uh, Pompeii, her sixth record, out now. She's been playing here in the green space with the band. And uh, Kate, as a guitarist myself, I've been sort of holding back from asking this question because I know from experience that when you ask guitarists about their guitars, you can quickly get lost in the weeds. But I have to know. What what is this guitar that you're playing? Oh, uh, my friend made it for me for this tour, so it's a really? copy of a Vox Phantom, but in the colours of the record. Yes, so, so yeah. it's it's oddly shaped. It's yeah. bright orange, as people who are watching the live stream or watching the videos can tell. Uh, looks like maybe a composite headstock. I mean, it's it's a really interesting instrument. Mm -hmm. So specifically made not just for you, but you now for mm -hmm. this tour. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, by Keith Wood, I should say his name. He's okay. very wonderful. Yeah. Where's he from? He's living in Grass Valley at the moment. Yeah. Here in the states. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, now, in addition to Pompeii, you've you've been busy as a producer. Mm -hmm. You know, you've worked with Deer Hunter and John Grant and and many others. Is that a different kind of creative muscle for you, producing someone else's um, record? Yeah, I think it's a different. Uh, you know, you have a you look in from the outside in, and um, but you know, obviously informed by looking from the inside out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anything in the works after this tour? Uh, I've just been working with Demendra Banhart on his new record. So oh, great! Um, yeah, hopefully try and finish that soon. And yeah. Okay, we'll yeah. look forward to that. Uh, Devendra's been here in, mm. in our studio as well. Kate, it's been a long time since you were last here. Yeah. Great to have you back. See you soon, hopefully. Yeah. Congratulations Thank on you. Pompeii. Thank you very much. You. And we've been broadcasting and streaming live from the green space on this edition of Soundcheck. You can watch the videos of the songs that Kate and the band have performed on the New Sounds YouTube channel or on our website, newsounds.org. My thanks to the crew here at the green space, our technical director, Irene Trudell, our producer, Karen Havlick, video, uh, videographer is David McLean, Ricardo Fernandez behind the, uh, the board here in the green space, Jennifer Sendro and the rest of her crew. And thank you for being with us for this live stream from the green space. I'm John Schaefer. See you next time. You know.